Maya for the Inktober prompt for the 18th day. We have moon and I thought I would just show you how to make a really easy simple moon in Photoshop and that's what we're gonna do. So to start off let's see my image size is uh, I'll do pixels 3600 by 4800 at 300 resolution. That's about uh, 12 by 16 inches or I guess that'd be about 30 by 40 centimeters. In case you want to know the size it'll only really affect the feathering and stuff but yeah we're gonna want a dark background to put our moon on. So I'm gonna pick kind of a bluish one and I'm not gonna go right into the black so I'm gonna pick sort of a dark We'll fill the background like that. I'm going to hit Command Shift in or probably Control Shift in if you're Windows. Bring this up and we'll create a new moon layer. And then we're going to go to our ellipse tool right over here. Uh, if it's on rectangle, you have to click on it, bring it to ellipse. You can hit U or Shift U to go through them all until you get to the ellipse tool. And then you're going to hit Shift and you're going to make a circle and you're going to make a moon. I'm just kind of moving mine around. <laughs> hit Command T to move it around. Okay, when you're done with that, go to the pen tool right here and make sure yours is on path. And I'm going to right click in there and I'm going to hit, uh, wait, 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 we need a color. We'll make a kind of a, not perfectly white, but in the higher range color for the moon. We'll hit uh, fill path and we'll do seven pixels for our radius, uh, feathered radius. Give it a little bit of a glow. If you're still on the pen tool, just hit return or enter to get rid of that path. Barely noticeable, but it'll be there still. Okay, so we have a moon. Let's create some shading on it. To make that easier, we're gonna hit Command Shift N and when it brings up this new layer prompt, there's this little use previous layer to create clipping mask box. We're gonna click that. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna go to our brush. It's gonna be 25, yeah, that's good. 25 opacity and we'll just have it on black. And I'm just using a soft round brush and my hardness is zero. So we're just gonna kind of give the moon a little bit of texture. <laughs> I don't know why I said that so weird. Yeah, we'll go around a little bit on the edges to give it a rounded look. And then we'll just kind of give it, you know, moon, moon looks. So something like that. We're not gonna worry too much about how it looks. Flip the colors and get the white and go in and add a few little white highlights. It's always kind of bright. Our moon is always kind of brighter down in this hemisphere of it, I think. Maybe we would add a little, a few little whites and then go back to blacks. If you want a little bit of hardness, you can change your hardness brush and get a little a few more detailed looky spots. You can even go harder than that. Up to you how, uh, how you want it to look, but yeah, we're just going to establish some shadows basically. And I'm just clicking. I have a tablet. I'm just kind of clicking to create some, you know, shapies, crater looks. Uh, that'll be pretty good. I think I might pick this color here and go over some of the areas. If you think you put too much black in. Yeah. Cause we, it's a, it's a moon, it's shining, it's glowing. We don't need too much blacky blacks. Yeah, that looks good. A little more balanced. Okay. And just so I have something down here, let me add a, something there. <laughs> and then we'll add a little bit more brightness there. All right. So now we have a moon. It doesn't quite look like a moon yet, does it? <laughs> so we're going to do a couple of little trickery things. So we're going to create a new layer, command shift in. And we'll call this glow. We're going to uh, hold down the command key and click inside the picture of this. Don't click on the title because it won't do anything. It'll, it'll select it or whatever. I'm hitting command and I'm hitting the picture and it makes it select. It might be control for Windows. <laughs> All right, so we got this here and then we'll go back to this glow layer. And I'm going to go to the wand tool and, and make sure it's on magic wand right here. And I'm going to feather this about um, 100 pixels. Okay, and then I'm going to change the blending mode to color dodge and we're going to give it a nice fake glow. <laughs> so let's pick a nice bright color here. I'm going to fill it. So what I've done is I've put it here, picked it. I hit X to make it the background and I'm going to hit command delete to fill it. You can go to your paint bucket tool if you feel more comfortable doing that. But yeah, whatever. And you can see, oh my goodness, that's too bright. I've lost all my detail, but that's okay. We're going to go to opacity and we're just going to kind of turn it down until we get maybe, I think I'll turn it down to about 47. And then I'm going to take my eraser, make sure it's on a good brush. We're going to blow it up. We're going to make our opacity like, I don't know, 10, 11. And anywhere that you like see where you wanted some more highlights you can just kind of erase it a bit but we still want that glowy glowy look yeah and then you can take your white you can take your brush we're still at opacity 25 maybe i'll turn that down a bit 
and you can take your white and you can kind of do some fancy glowy things where you just go around it and it doesn't give it a perfect circle glow it gives it kind of like a misty morning look so that's basically good enough i'm going to do two more little things to make it really pop i'm going to go back to this layer hold down that command and get that selection again i'm going to create a new layer underneath it command shift in call this backlight and we will feather this uh but only like uh, 25 and then i'm gonna make sure the white is on the back and i'm gonna do it like that it gives it a little bit of a glow uh maybe i'll feather it a little bit more so before i feather it i'm going in my history on the new layer <laughs> let's feather 50 and i'm actually gonna make one more change sorry <laughs> i'm gonna give it a little bit of a blue because that's the that's the color that little bit of a blue so that gives it a nice kind of halo effect if you like that look and again you can mess around with it like if you want it to be a little bit less noticeable you can turn down the opacity another thing you can do is add some like foreground stuff i can't talk in type <laughs> so i don't know maybe you want some uh, leaves or something i'm gonna look and see if i got some kind of leaf brush i know i got some you can put some you can just make some like silhouetted looks here something like that i don't know <laughs> give it uh, a little bit of interest and then put something on the ground. I'll make another layer there just to be safe. And we'll just, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll create some kind of ground mountain looking thing. It doesn't matter what. Just so it's not like just up in the sky at random. And that could be a look if you want. And I'm going to create one final layer at the very top and call it the overlay layer. I'm going to select the menu and drop it down to overlay for the blending option. And I'm going to go to this gradient tool right here. I'm gonna set it so it's on basics. Oh my goodness, I can't click with my tablet. <laughs> this middle one here, which is part transparent, I'm gonna click this. This is just an extra little thing you can do. I want it to look like a little bit more blue at the top and maybe a little bit purple on the bottom. So what I have this here, I've got my blue color I just selected. I've got this on overlay. I'm going to drop it down and give it a blue, maybe a little bit more. I think that gives a little bit more interest, you know? <laughs> and then for the bottom, like I said, let's go with like a dark purple. And then it can just have a little bit of character. Maybe, uh, whoops, maybe I'll bring it a little bit higher. Yeah, so there we go. Really easy moon. Uh, you can make it a little more detailed. You can mess with this uh, glow if you like it a little bit more. You can make that glow more noticeable. You know, you don't have to do the leaves or anything. You can just have it like that. You can put a few stars in the background or something. Uh, I'll just show you real quick a little tip. This will be the last thing we do. We go to brush settings. If you don't have it open, you go to window. Brush settings right here. Uh, you want your spacing just like crazy out, <laughs> a thousand percent, sure. Size general, a little bit, like 30%. Then we're going to make sure our opacity is 100. Our softness is 100%. Yeah, or 0%, sorry. Yeah, and just add this is how you add stars then. So I'm just kind of randomly clicking. I'm picking up my mouse. So it's, if I don't, it'll just kind of create lines. And you can make some bigger. I'm using my tablet, but you could mess with the things. And there we go. I don't know why we have stars in front of there. I guess they're magic glow lights now. <laughs> Either way, you get the idea. That was a really quick, easy, fast way to make a moon. And hopefully it works for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And I hope you're having a great day or night or whatever. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.